Good afternoon and welcome. We did it, we got here, and it's a great, great day. Welcome again, parents, teachers, and staff. Father Rosser, Father Clark, in the back, thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming together at the last minute. I don't want to forget to say that. Welcome to St. Margaret of Antioch's 64th commencement ceremony. Now declare these commencement exercises to open. So we're excited to start. Father Rosser, would you lead us in the invocation? And the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God of majesty and giver of all good things, you create the wonders of this universe and set the power of our intelligence to see your majesty and splendor in all of creation. We pray for this 64th graduation class, the class of 2020. Send forth your spirit into the lives of these graduates. May they leave our school filled with love for all creation. Let them strive to share their knowledge with gentle patience and endeavor always to bring the truth to all people. We pray you to guide and protect them, keep them from harm's way. May hope accompany their journey through all the days of their life. May the blessings promised to the compassionate be theirs in abundance. And may your abiding presence be with them all the days of their lives. We ask all these things through Christ, the model teacher, our brother and Lord, forever and ever. Amen. rise and join us while we play the national anthem. according to the Archdiocese of New York. The students are hereby awarded their diplomas. You noticed we have left their diplomas in the pew with you, so we are asking the parents as we announce your child's name. Um, we would like the students to rise and be recognized, and we would like everyone to clap and cheer for them. And we're asking the parents to please present them with their diplomas. After you are recognized by the um, crowd, uh, please be seated and then I'll announce the next person, okay. Savannah Amataj. <laughs> Riley Brooks. Owen Kapoor. 
Caputo. Finn Coffey. Colin Finn. Elizabeth Lizzie Freeman. Janelle Holmes. Rachel Lyons. Aiden Moore. Darcy Moore. Francesca Mormelli. Margaret Maggie Murph. one, boys and girls. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I should say. I am sure I speak for all when I say we are so blessed to be able to come together in celebration of your years at St. Margaret's School. And of course, all that you achieved, albeit three and a half months through distance learning, but you did it. Your teachers did it. We did it together. And that is so very important to remember today. Before we move on to awarding accolades for your perseverance in service and academics, let's take a moment to honor and thank all who played a part in this culminating event in God's plan for you. Pastors, leadership, faculty and staff, past and present, and of course your family, as they ensured you steadily stayed on course, nudging you back a bit, especially during Zoom time, when you may have needed a bit more guidance. They love you, we love you, and it shows as we are present in this church and watching from a distance to celebrate you today. I would be remiss if I did not mention the difficult time we have been experiencing due to the pandemic. Distance learning, separation from friends and family, no opportunities to gather as a school or parish community to do what we do best, give thanks and share in the glory of God and all he provides, but we're doing it today. I can certainly go on and on, and I'm sure if I shared this podium, this mic with many of you, you too can share the negatives that came out of what some now call our new normal. I, however, dare you graduates to find the silver lining in all that we continue to experience. More time with family, to learn and at times relearn things, grow closer to siblings, try new recipes, learn a new language, take better care of ourselves and others, and use our time wiser as we learned how precious it truly is. On this very special graduation day, you are truly victorious. Because of that, please know 
God has truly blessed you with unique talents and abilities, and you have used his gifts extremely well. Your positive attitude, your willingness to try new things, your dedication and your caring ways, all of these shows just how much you're truly capable of. Today, as you celebrate your accomplishments, remember that you are an important part of God's wonderful plan for your today and for your tomorrows. That I say, congratulations, class of 2020. So when you hear your name again, please stand, and we want to honor you. Um, and at the end of the ceremony, we have all your wonderful awards, all the things that you've earned ready for you, and more surprises. The Award of General Excellence is presented to the student who has achieved the highest academic average in the graduating class. This award consists of a cash award and a gold medal provided by the school. This year, the award is presented to Elizabeth Freeman. Lizzie. Next award are our top 10. These medals are given to those students who ranked in the top 10 of the graduating class. So we're gonna say all their names and stand up together, okay? And then we'll clap. Finn Coffey, Elizabeth Freeman, Aiden Moore, stand, say standing. Darcy Moore, Margaret Murphy, Timothy O'Sullivan, Ed Gapara, Lucia Servino, Olivia Servino, and Greta Swanson. Elizabeth Freeman, 
Robert Murphy.
St. Margaret School Class of 2020 Graduation Ceremony. My name is Maggie Murphy, and I am so glad we are all here to celebrate this special occasion. As a class, we would like to thank some special people. First, we want to thank Father Rasser and Father Clark for being our spiritual leaders. You have taught us through example what strong faith and a kind heart look like. Second, we would like to thank all the staff and volunteers for making this such a happy and healthy environment to come to each day. We want to thank Mr. Carlos, who works tirelessly keeping our school clean and safe. We would like to thank Mrs. Maldonado, our school's principal. She is our general. As a school, we look up to her and follow her lead. We know she is always looking out for the best interest of the children of SMS. Every single morning at assembly, Mrs. Maldonado would ask the entire school who loves us, and we would say, God loves me. We will take that with us for the rest of our lives. We would also like to thank all the teachers of SMS, past and present. You have taught us so much during our years here. Thank you for sharing your knowledge and giving such an enormous effort day in and day out. You have helped us succeed academically and personally. We appreciate all the big things you have done for us, but more importantly, the small things that sometimes go unnoticed or maybe unappreciated. You would take your time to explain difficult assignments by simplifying it for us. You prepared lesson plans in great detail to make them more interesting. You offered extra help to us before or after school and welcomed us into our classrooms, into your classrooms, when you could have used that time to be home with your families. Thank you for setting the bar high for us and challenging us to get there. The teacher we would like to thank the most is Mrs. Delaney. Having you as our eighth grade teacher has been nothing short of an honor. We know this is not exactly how you planned your first year as our eighth grade teacher, but we know you have done anything and everything in your power to make sure we had the same experience as years past. We love you for it. Even though this year has been a little different to say the least. We are extremely grateful to you. Let's hope next year is a little easier for you and there are no murder hornets or swarms of locusts to deal with. We will always cherish these people at SMS. Because of them, we are able to learn, grow, and succeed, while at the same time have a lot of fun. You have made us all better people. We would also like to thank our families, especially our parents and grandparents. Without you, we would not be here. This gift of SMS that you have given us can never be repaid. We know how hard it was to pay for the school and how many hours you had to work to let us attend this great place. You sacrificed your happiness for ours. The only thing we can give you back is a promise that we will always try our very best to make you and St. Margaret School proud. We truly understand the opportunity you have given us. We love you so much. 
What can I say about St. Margaret's? What a wonderful place to go to school. It has been such an amazing journey. Whether the journey has been 11 years, one year, or somewhere in between, it has gone really fast. I can still remember sitting in Mrs. Murphy's pre-K-4 class. I will remember my time at SMS as nothing short of wonderful. We all had our ups and downs throughout the years, but those times brought us closer. My classmates truly feel like part of my family. The bond we have formed will never be broken and will last for the rest of our lives. The support we have received from each other, other students, our teachers, the faculty, and volunteers will never be forgotten. This was just a special time in our lives. As I said before, SMS is our family. It never mattered what grade you were in. We all looked out for each other. If someone was alone or sad, there was always a student there to help them through it. We all looked, as eighth graders, we took pride in being the leaders of the school. We would talk to the younger grades and make sure they were secure and safe. We went to mass together as a school community. We prayed together each morning and recited the pledge. We sang the school alma mater song. All these different things taught us that it is better to include than to exclude. It is better to love than to hate, and it is better to bring together than push away. Although we love SMS, we know it is time for new challenges. SMS has prepared us to take on high school and eventually college. SMS has given us a wonderful education and a love for God, country, and family. We have worked hard for this, and we are ready. Being comfortable can feel good, and change can make us nervous and scared. But what we learned at SMS is real growth comes from getting out of our comfort zone and embracing those moments that don't come easy for us. We learned at SMS it sometimes takes a bigger and stronger person to say no to the crowd when we know it is not the most popular thing to do. We should apply these lessons we learned today at SMS for guidance when dealing with issues tomorrow. Treat every day as a new learning experience and another opportunity to grow as an individual. Even though we are all excited to start the next phase of our lives, it is very hard to say goodbye. I love this place. We will never forget all the school plays, morning assemblies, class parties, field trips, parades, dances, the fun at lunch and recess, math nine, prayer partners, color runs, family fun days, Catholic schools week, blue versus gold, the contests, cross country, gym class, and everything else that made SMS special. How about playing kazoo in front of the entire school? That is a memory we will never forget. I will miss even the regular ordinary days at SMS. I would give anything to just go back for one last day. It hurts to say goodbye, but we know that SMS has prepared us well for the future, high school, college, and then onto the real world. Finally, I want to thank my classmates. Thank you for being my best friends during my time here. I will miss you all. We know this is not how we wanted to end our eighth grade. This was a lesson to us that no matter how much you plan, life can throw you a curveball and we are thrown a major one. We know now not to take anything for granted, but instead of feeling sad for ourselves, we got up each day and did our work. We gave our best effort. We learned a new way to learn. We prayed for those in need. We were resilient. We were tough. We persevered. We grew. These last three months should convince us that there's nothing going to stop us if we put our heart and mind to it. The way we came together and continued as a class was inspiring. And for that, we should be real proud of ourselves. As one of our classmates said in our video to Mrs. Delaney, this will surely be a year we will never forget, which is so true. But as President Ronald Reagan said after the space shuttle challenge disaster, the future doesn't belong to the faint hearted. It belongs to the brave. The SMS class of 2020 proved that we are not the faint of heart, but we are among the brave. We are ready for what the future holds. Thank you for your time. God bless you all. God bless the USA. And God bless SMS. Congratulations, class of 2020. Our hard work paid off.
job here when you finish with college. <laughs> Good old Dylan. Great job. On to the thank yous, and I do hope I do not leave anyone out. I know that in my heart I thank you all. I thank those who are not here, of course, but we together, Ms. Delaney and I, work on ensuring that we thank those who do those little things Maggie just spoke about that may go a little unnoticed. Crystal Mark LaRosa, choir director, for putting together the beautiful, beautiful baccalaureate mass and awards program. Are you up there? provides and we thank you for that and we bless your family and you're not too far and so we know where you are but thank you thank you so much this is Moldera where are you support to Ms. Delaney during her first year, and of course, to me and Ms. Delaney as we put together um, the graduation ceremony. We did a good job, right? Thank you. <laughs> to you, the parents, oh my goodness, for your constant support of the St. Margaret School leadership, the faculty, the staff, your trust in our decision making during this time of uh, distance learning and pandemic and all of that, your, your, your trust in us is truly uplifting and especially you know during this time and schedule changes and everything else, we can't thank you enough and it's so wonderful. I had to warn Ms. Delaney not to cry to see you here today. It's so great to have you here. <laughs> Sheba. To the junior high school teachers, where are y'all? Um, wow, wow. You truly got it and carried and brought the students and yourselves across the distance learning finish line in style. I cannot thank you enough for your team effort and effort and work ethic. I we all appreciate you and love you very, very much all over the place. <laughs> your dedication to your craft is wonderful to witness and is proof, you know, before there's proof before us today in these graduates going on to bigger and better things. Father Rosser, I penciled you in. I penciled you in here, Father Rosser. Just so you know, I want to tell you that you are truly amazing. You're an amazing rock. He has been guiding us along the way, last minute uh, masses, last minute ideas. Uh, thank you, thank you so much, you and Father Clark. Your prayers, your encouragement along the way. We can't thank you enough, but thank you today. on this new assignment is your consistent reflection of your practice. I think I might cry. 
that allowed the class of 2020 here today to thrive. You did an amazing job leading them towards success. They did it, you did it. With that, I say let's do it all again next year. <laughs> Wow, if I left anyone out, truly thank you. Spread the thanks. Um, I'm just so happy to be here today. You don't know. Um, Father Rasta, I'm going to invite you up to the podium and for your closing remarks and bless. Yeah. Before I do that, I think we have a little presentation. Just before we all leave, I just again congratulate our graduates. Thank you. You're now the alumni of our school, so welcome to a long line of alumni from St. Margaret's School. But we have been applauding you all day for almost two hours. So, <laughs> graduates, if you want to stand up and do me a favor, please, graduates, please stand. I want you to applaud first of all your moms and dads, and then I want you to applaud all those wonderful teachers up there for the job they did with all of you. So, please, congratulate your parents. And say hello to your teachers up there. All right. So we'll give you a little blessing, and then uh, off you go. But again, know of our love. Know that the doors of St. Margaret's are always, always, always open to you. Come visit us. Let us know how you all doing next year. And again, there's always a warm place for you to be here. Let us pray. In you, O Lord our God, all things have their beginning, their continuation, and their end. Grace us with your saving power, and may he strengthen you and bring your work to completion. May hope accompany your journey through the many days to come. May God's abiding presence, love, and blessings be upon you, and may Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So we have a little bit of a surprise for you all, yes? And so, um, so parents, we're going to actually ask you to exit, not yet, um, the side aisles, via the side aisles, and line, I guess, line up along the stairway and then to my right, right? Make sure you keep your distance because we have a surprise for you and for the children. Now, graduates, you stay, and parents will exit the side aisle, and there are teachers back there help, making sure you keep your distance and helping you along the way. Graduates, just stay. You can take your diploma, parents or student. Really quickly, we have 10, five, Great. Mr. Lady, tell me when. So, graduates, when you hear this sound, You'll know the sound, you'll recognize the sound. We're going to ask you to exit, starting with Aiden and Ellie Mae, and everyone thereafter. Just follow the path your parents are creating, but keep your social distance. Does everybody understand? So the, left, the first two out are Aiden and Ellie Mae, right? One at a time, right? And then the last two would be Savannah and Darcy.
a look. Now, is Mr. Lagosa there to see things? Okay. Can you pop the doors open? Well, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, this is for you because we kind of missed it. Hope this works. Your alarm bell. 